In the product development world, we say, you know, we, you know, not only is a picture worth a, you know, a thousand words, but a prototype is worth a thousand pictures, and uh, Mathematic helps us do both of those. I work for uh, the Procter and Gamble company in the uh, what we call devices development. So we create small appliances for uh, consumer products. A lot of our products have gears in them. Uh, you know, some, some examples are our Oral-B toothbrushes. Um, our Swiffer WetJet product has a gear pump in it. So uh, we have to create uh, small, custom, very accurate gears on a sort of a prototype basis. So that was the, that was the need, is to get a very detailed geometry of gears into a usable format, into CAD format, to drive machine tools. And the application I was looking at was a face gear application. So the, the actual surfaces for those are pretty complex. So you imagine this is one face of a one tooth of a, uh, a sort of ordinary pinion looking gear. Mathematica was able to kind of gracefully handle going from you know, the sort of driving or cutting gear, doing some geometric transforms on, on those surfaces, which is literally one line of code each, and uh, end up with this face gear surface. And it really in a pretty elegant, uh, intuitive, and sort of maintainable way. But the best part is we can go even further than that. We can uh, put our pinion and our face gear together in the same plot. So this series of uh, blue dots represents uh, the whole path where the pinion and the uh, face gear are going to touch. And I've calculated both the uh, ideal path and then what happens if the gears are slightly misaligned. You can do a lot uh, within Mathematica optimizing the surface before you ever uh, get to the relatively expensive part of actually doing the product design. This is an example of uh, a set of face gears that we actually machined. The uh, individual faces of the uh, face gear teeth we designed via Mathematica. These are the right size, the configuration, and material, so we know that we're going to be representative of the final product. So uh, being able to do this uh, really uh, gives us a leg up and having some confidence that our uh, product design is going to be robust through manufacturing. Being on upstream product development, I uh, am responsible for not only sort of the, the physics of the product, you know, to make sure that it's feasible and works, but also, you know, is it feasible economically? Sort of put it together a cost model, and maybe I can even visualize it. But then, what takes you to really to the next level is you can take just take the derivative of your model and say, is there an optimum there? And uh, being able to show that is a really powerful tool to uh, uh, convince, you know, say your business partners that, you know, in, that they need to go in some optimal direction.